first of all, COVID is shit. I've managed to avoid it for two and a half years, thinking, oh, it's not going to be too bad and whatnot. My God, I feel like death. It's awful. Thank God I've had the all three uh, vaccines, but I feel awful. My head's spinning. My throat's horrendous. I can still smell and... No, I can't even think what I'm going to say. That's COVID for you. It messes up what you're going to say. But, like I said, I did a test earlier today. It's because I, I reckon I got it from the Anne-Marie concert I went on uh, Friday night. Because I went to Great Yarmouth the, uh, Saturday. What wasn't, you was keeping your distance, even though you don't obviously have to now, legally. Uh but if I had to put a th anything down for where I got it, it's going to be the Anne Marie concert because people are literally shoulder to shoulder and uh, breathing on you. So I I'm putting it down to the Anne Marie concert. So it's not brilliant having COVID. You don't, like I say, you don't have to legally isolate, but I'm doing until I obviously test uh, negative. Because I feel dreadful. And hopefully by later, by the weekend, I'll be negative. But I'm pleased I've got it now because I've got holidays sooner. I know it's having COVID is shit, point blank. But I'm grateful to have it now. And then I've got time to recover. But they say within 12 weeks as test and negative you're likely to obviously test positive within 12 weeks. What is not even 12 weeks till I go away. Well, it's fantastic. So hopefully by Friday or this time next week, I'll feel a lot better than what I'm doing now because I feel dreadful. I do. I wouldn't usually make a, a video if it was literally just a general cold, but I've not felt like this for, it's probably like seven years since last time I felt this bad. And I've, because every time I move, even slightly, my head's doing, it's like going on a roller coaster or something or just constantly spinning and spinning. What I'm, what I did, did use, I can't speak, what I was on. Uh, rise at Great Yarmouth, Pleasure Beach, only 48 hours ago. And they say the incubation period is like two or three days. So I felt fine, obviously, all day Saturday, all day Sunday. It wasn't till about five, six o'clock last night, what was Monday. And I've test positive, obviously, on the 2nd of August 2022. So like I say, I've dodged it for two and a half years. So I've not done too bad there, but... For everyone who still think COVID is a <clears throat> hoax, grow up. COVID is real. If you haven't had any of your vaccines, you're stupid. And I could say a far worse, but I know YouTube will take the video down if I say anything I want to say. But you could probably imagine what I want to say, but I'm not going to. So, stay safe. Try not to get COVID. If you've had COVID in the last two and a half years... I'm sorry, because it is awful, absolutely awful. I am going to go and eat some ice cream because that's literally the only thing I can stomach. Am I? You could probably, if you go to previous say videos, I haven't done like a sit down video for quite a while. But if you went down and obviously tried to find one, what there is a load from the last seven years I've been on YouTube, seven and a half years, you can tell. No difference in my voice. Because I can even tell in myself. So, make sure you stay safe. If you've got COVID, obviously do a test. If you've obviously still got free tests, what? Because now they're like £15 or something to buy. So, f luckily, we've still got a couple of boxes from when they were free. But, if you've got any, 
don't waste your money on buying any unless you really need to it is dreadful so stay safe get vaccinated did you and i've got covid